fishy folks and welcome back to another video. <coughs> I'm not fine. I caught the Rona. Today another subscriber fish room tour. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. It's true, I caught the Rona. Today is day five. Uh, day one and two, not so good. Three and four, not so bad. Today, back to not so good. A little dizzy, a little lightheaded. I actually took off of work, and I work remote, so, you know, been lying in bed watching Harry Potter. Anywho, uh, another subscriber fish room tour. He keeps most of his tanks outside on his front porch and in his backyard. So, um... It's pretty cool. It's pretty unconventional, I have to tell you in advance, and uh, there's, there'll be no hate. I don't want to see any hate in the comments, guys. There's your warning. Uh, he has a very small YouTube channel. Um, it's I Dos the Man. I'll put a link down below. He also live streams his tanks, uh, at least one of his tanks, pretty much all day. So check out his channel. Throw him a like and a subscribe, maybe, and uh, grab a beverage and a healthy snack. Here we go. All right, just to start the video off, yes, that is my Christmas tree. It's 33 feet tall. It's in my front yard. There's one of my trucks. So, walking onto the front porch. Yes, I have the majority of my tanks on my front porch or outside. There's two 55 gallons with. Well, let me get around here. There's a couple of, uh, you know, smaller Oscars at the moment and two gigantic feeder goldfish that I rescued and, you know, they're having a good time with each other. This guy is being a drama queen. He does this a lot. Not sure why. But yeah, that's why it's so nasty in there right now because, well, he stirs it up. Anyway, next to that. 55 gallon, nothing but guppies and a bunch of mollies. Well, mostly guppies, just a few mollies. Whole bunch of plants. All the plants that you see I got out of a local lake. And uh, yeah, some driftwood I found. Um, saw this idea online and thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool. Have a little inverted uh, 10 gallon in the top of there so the guppies can have a little more area to look around. Anyway. All nice and clean. I have not cleaned this tank since I set it up. There's a little bit of algae on the top, but hardly anything at the bottom. Anyway, behind here, another 55 with guppies and mollies. They think that I'm coming to feed them, I guess. Anyway, I like to, to rescue the, uh, the feeder guppies and such. Um, the beginnings of the filter system, back behind everything, and I get the flash, okay, so I have overflow, overflow, uh, kind of a home built overflow in here, they all flow into right here couple of filter socks that I tried that idea out eh, didn't really work all that great but uh, let's see right in here I don't know if you can see this this is just basically uh, one inch thick uh, polyfill uh, like cushion stuff this is some foam just kind of provides a, a base for it to uh, rest against found that actually at Aquashella here in Orlando um, Behind all that, I have an individual pump with one inch pipes going to each one of these three tanks, feeding them. Um, this guy is a big pump of about a 2,000 gallon an hour pump that I use that is attached to this guy for pumping water in various places. Uh, helps in cleaning the uh, Oscar tank out. Um, so yeah, all of this overflows right there this big two inch pipe boom into this guy which is a 40 breeder filled with bio balls 
Now, you may be wondering, okay, what's that? That is coming from the backyard. It starts uh, right here with this guy. There's another one of these uh, pumps actually right there with the green pipe feeds on the bottom of that thing which goes all the way into the backyard which we cannot see from here goes into all the tanks on the back and comes back right here so anyway let's move into the back pause so see you in the backyard yay recording again okay so backyard yes I have some tanks I haven't uh, these are, are all 30 gallon tanks I got from a uh, local breeder that I drilled them they're ready to replace some of the plastic tubs I have in the back so anyhow backyard Everything's a mess because I am an irrigation contractor, so this is my business shed, and we're going to have an ice machine. It's wonderful for the summers in Florida. Anyhow, so, the uh, that tube in the front with the green pipe feeds into this tank, which then goes into this tank, to this tank to that one goes down into this guy then to this one then goes into a 55 gallon drum filled with bio balls I don't know if you can see that pipe I can sort of sort of see right there and over there anyhow that feeds into wait for it these and get rid of that there Yes, I grow lots and lots and lots of plants. Let's see if we can get a little, there we go. I have some lights that are burned out over here. They're under here, but they got burned. Um, anyhow, I have tons and tons of plants. I don't even know what half of these things are, but I like them because they were in the lake and they help get rid of all the nitrates that all those guys produce. I have tons of snails in there. I, I started using just sand as the substrate, whatever. This is empty. Um, but yeah, some of them I haven't even figured out what to do with yet. But all of these drain down into that two inch there. And, let's see. Uh, got filters on both of those coming in, so it filters out all the snails and everything, and it's pretty easy to empty that. I should probably clean that. Anyway, that's all over there. Let me zoom in. There, that goes into the back, which... Oh, it's all the way back there. Uh, let me go over to that. Not the easiest to get back here. There we go. I think I have a leak. Yeah, I got a tiny bit of a leak. Anyway, so there is a, uh, I want to say a 2,000 gallon an hour pump that feeds into this pipe here, which goes out to the jets that are in all those 30 something tanks, you know, 10 gallon tanks that are over there. And when it overflows, it gets to a particular point, comes through this two inch pipe, goes down and all the way to the front yard, which let's see if I can zoom in. Boom, there are the other tanks in the front yard. About 60 feet away. Anyhow, uh, there's the overflow. Can't really see it moving because it's very slow. 
Um, oh, almost forgot. So, you can see that itty bitty pump right there. Feeds up. Uh, I'm gonna walk inside. Okay, on the other side, here's that uh, little pump that I have in this tank. Comes all the way over and goes actually to where the pump is in the bottom of this five gallon drum that I have filled with filter floss that pumps into this. A 20 gallon long where you may see some dark tubing connected. I have this right here and an air stone, a very large air stone in there. Under, eh, it's a very large air stone in there and that is directly connected into my well. Uh, the well I've tested comes out very clean. Not good enough for drinking, but very clean. And uh, I have it, you know, it runs through here and it actually, the way the water flows, it goes through here, down into the filter, overflow in here, down into this tank, which then gets pushed into this tank, which then the overflow in here, it's pushing to the 55 gallon drum at the bottom, right next to where the pump inlet is, which then goes through all of these tanks before it comes back to the 55 gallon and over into the filter tank in the front yard. So the sulfites and the uh, that sulfur, you know, rotten egg, hang on. I'm right next to an airport. Uh, that rotten egg smell that you get in the water and the sulfur that's in the water has a lot of time to dissipate Especially with the aeration it's getting from the air stone and then all the aeration it gets as it filters through all these tanks So that by the time it gets up front it doesn't stink and Probably 90% of that sulfur is gone. So the fish don't have to deal with it anyhow that is uh, that is my system. Um, I hope this helps. See ya. He keeps most. He keeps most. Wow.